I'm not bored. <laughs> I'm not bored. What it do? This is your girl, beautiful Q, and I am back again with another live. <laughs> this live will be about New Year's coming up. It'll be here soon. We don't want to go back into the New Year. Let's not do that. So, yes, I have my notes. Try to be organized. If I don't, then I will talk forever. I'll probably be on this shit like 20 hours because I can talk. I got a podcast. So don't tell me I talk too much when y'all know I got a whole podcast just so people can hear me talk and tell my tales and all my business. Because I don't want to be a walking hard drive and not share this information with y'all because somebody can, it can be valuable to somebody. So that's why I'm sharing my stuff. So. Yes. Um. So this one right here is um, I'm gonna dive into tips and advice and just things that I think y'all can use um, as far as entering the new year. Because like I said, we don't want to go into the new year with the same thing that we walked in this year with. Um, because we're gonna be on to bigger and better things in 2024. I don't know about y'all. Well, I do know about y'all. Y'all is. Y'all gonna be on bigger and better things. I know y'all is. Same thing with me. Because I believe in everybody and I know everybody is gonna make this up here. Okay? It's a must. It's a must. Um, let me go ahead and dive right in. So, 2024, I mean, 2023, <laughs> like my girl Onika said, like, in 2023, I can tell you, I've been... <laughs> <laughs> this has been a year for me um a year of learning a year of growing a year of finding who's for me who's not for me it's been a year man it's been a year and i definitely wouldn't change it because it may be the person that i am today i'm, I'm stronger very much wiser and very much set on my intentions of where I want to do, what I want to do, where I want to go, where I want to be at, how I want to be, how I want my business to be, how I want, I'm, I'm, when I say I'm focused, focused man, just know this man, <laughs> so yeah, let me go ahead and dive right in, so 2024, we've made gold for 2023, right, mm, yes we did, 2024 is best that we come in 2024 swinging, swinging, knocking motherfuckers out just like, fuck out of my way you plan on trying to stand in my way or my dreams or my goals, just knock their ass the fuck out, because ain't nobody get nothing, anything get in your way of your dream so let's go in 2024 swinging out the motherfucking gate, letting them know I am foot on next foot on chest, foot wherever you need to go, just to let them know that we are not playing in 2024 it's your year. It's my year. It's your year. It's our year. Let's get it all the end. So make sure y'all going for them goals, man. Set new goals. I don't care how far how far fetched y'all think they is. Like it's yours. It's yours. Like it's yours. So help me up with new goals. You just want to be a millionaire, a trillionaire, a billionaire. You can be that. You can be all of that. You want to want to be that mansion. That's yours. You want a foreign? That's yours. You want to feed the world? Oh, you can do that. You want to help the world? You want to save the children? You want to, you want to build people up, knock them down, then build them back up? Yeah. You do that. Do all of that. Do whatever you want to do. And don't let nobody tell you that you can't. That's, that's, that's why I'm here. On my Instagram page, it says I was created to fuck shit up. And that's, I think I did it on my page. I definitely was created to fuck shit up. Like, to put a little mix and shit. Just let it be so like. Who are you to tell me that what I can do? Girl. Mm. Project that onto yourself, boo. Because I ain't got to So let's go in with new goals. Mm. Let's go in with a new perception of life. You know. Who in the family 
followed their dreams and didn't get hindered by a job, didn't get hindered by a boss, didn't get hindered by self-doubt, confidence. Who? 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 It could be you. It could be you. It could be you in the back. Yeah, you in the back. I see you in the background watching a live with this person. Yes. It could be you in the back. Be that one. We're all rare. One of a kind. There's doppelgangers, yes. But if y'all ain't listen to my songs, doppelgangers, they want to be me. Take two, step in, take two steps in my big shoes. Make the wrong move, you gonna lose. We all got our own unique pair of shoes that everybody cannot walk in. That's why if you see on TikTok, a lot of people who actually go viral is people that's doing different sh- shit. Not people that are recreating the same thing that somebody else just did. Yes, I just gave y'all a tip on how to go viral. I need to use my own tip. <laughs> but uh yeah. Let me get back into it. Like follow your dreams. Like just just follow your dreams. Like don't don't let these people fucking tell you what the fuck. Like who, when, what, where, how. It's giving me you wanna be in my business. <laughs> it's giving me you in my business. Like that's all you gotta say. When somebody's trying to tell you, like, oh, that dream far-fetched, this, 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 and that. Mm, it's giving me in my business. Like, you get what I'm saying? You in my business. So it's like, don't listen to nobody when they try to tell you that your dream is far-fetched because it's not. Don't let them lie to you. Like, it's all a lie. So another thing is, uh, and being helpful, raising your vibration. Stop being a walking hard drive. Share the love. Love yourself first. Off. And then love the people. Love yourself first and then love the people. I see a lot of people that love a lot of people around them. Show a lot of love everywhere. I promise every some night you do for me. But they don't feel the way that they feel for others about themselves. And that's hurtful. That's hurtful. Because if a lot of people realize how amazing they are, how beautiful they are, how kind they are. Because me personally, I judge people on their hearts. If you got a nasty heart, you got a nasty look. You ugly to me. You ugly like your heart. And you need to go heal, bitch. Go heal. Okay? I don't judge people off they look. I don't. That's just not me. Because I've seen people... What the fuck is the look? What is the look? Who put that in our... In our mind? To say that this person with... A fat ass... Is more attractive than somebody who don't have an ass. Who put that in our mind that a person with big lips is more attractive than somebody with no lips? Who put that in our mind? What the fuck is the beauty standard? That's what I'm still trying to figure out. What's the beauty standard? Like, who who, who are y'all trying to... What's the beauty standard that y'all are going by? That makes certain people ugly and that makes certain people look good. Is it the clothes they wear? Is it the makeup? Is it the wigs? Is it the hairstyle? Is it the shoes? Is it the jewelry? Is it the the items that make a person um attractive? I don't know. But I know I was saying I was gorgeous earlier, which I am gorgeous. It's called self love, and that's called me knowing that I'm um, baby. Uh, my skin, oh, the skin is skinning, okay? It's skinning, and that's hard work, water. 
eating right, no meat, eating my fruit, but when I got to do, okay? So I appreciate myself. I am, I set the standards and I set the rules because it's my fucking world and it's my universe, just like it's yours. So fuck them people in the beauty standards. And just be careful. Love everybody. Show everybody love. Tell them you're beautiful. Everybody is beautiful. I don't care. What the fuck they say on TV is beautiful. Because it's not. Like, shit. That's the only way that's going to work. You have to cut the distractions out. And trust me, there's a lot of fucking distractions. It's a lot. That's what I had to do. I'm not going into 2024 as a people pleaser. If my first mind says no, then guess what the fuck the answer is? No. I'm not thinking it. I'm not collecting the 200 and I'm not doing none of that. Um, it's just a no. Oh, uh, thank you, Sandy. I didn't even see you on here, girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My girl, Sandy, y'all. Uh, what it do? What it do? I appreciate the comment. Look at her. Yes. Thank you so much, y'all. Hold on, y'all. Let me go ahead and thank you so much. I appreciate you. But yeah, that's what we need to do. We just basically need to just be helpful, be helpful, help yourself, love yourself, show that love. Because once you love yourself, it shows others how they want to love you. And it shows others who you are. I'm just so excited, y'all. All right, so let me go into the next topic. So that was the the side of just basic. You know what I'm saying? I, I did want to get into the spirituality side because I'm very spiritual and I do believe in um, negative energy. Third, I, I believe in all of that. So tell me what you want, Hudu, but I don't care. I really don't. But to the people that's going to listen, the people that's going to respect and the people that's going to love it, hear me out. This is the spiritual side. So, um, manifestations. Um, setting the intent. Changing your lifestyle and raising the vibration. This is probably like my favorite part. <laughs> this is my favorite part. <laughs> Only because... It's been a journey. I've been going through. And it's been very, it's been a beautiful journey to me. It's been very beautiful. And I'm very grateful on my journey. Very grateful. And I'll tell you, your girl has been tested. I have been tested. I've been put to the test, put to the ringer. I've been, I've been, I've been through it. But the reason why I keep looking at myself like this because it's like, baby girl, you don't look like what you went through. I don't look like what I've been through. <laughs> you will never know. And it's nobody's business what I've been through. But me and the most high. So that's why I want to kind of tap in on this, this subject because... I did it. I did it. Um, I set my manifestations in, in place. I had the intent behind it. I raised my vibration. And I've also changed my lifestyle. For the better of myself and for the better of my life. Um, I don't really want to discuss my manifestations but just know that they are coming into play and as they come into play with the help of changing your lifestyle and changing your and raising your vibration and when I say raising your vibration it's basically saying like uh, okay let me give you a situation so <laughs> I have to co-parent and uh it's not the easiest or smoothest situation um, that's going on. And I hope it gets better. I'm going to have hope because 
18 years of this, I'm not, that's too much energy to be wasting in an area that I don't want to sit in. So, um, I started making the best out of things. I started making the best out of things. I started, you know, just stay hot. Like, my motto is never drop your crown looking down. And every time you drop your crown, whether it's whether you're a king or whether you're a queen, your vibration goes low. I've had to cut off family members. I had to cut off friends. I've had to cut off so many different people. And I still remained resilient, still remained positive. I still remained confident in my actions. Now, I know a lot of people probably say, how can I do such thing? Oh, I'm I'm alone. I'm, they can't be alone. They can't be by themselves. And it's like, you're never alone. Nobody should never be lonely. Never. Like, you're never alone. It's like, uh, I know eventually I'm going to get in a relationship. I know I am, but whatever. That's not even like my main focus. I'm not even focused on a relationship right now. I'm focused on myself. I'm focused on rebuilding, bouncing back. Like I just, I just can't give myself to nobody when I'm not in a mental space and a physical space and a where I want to be. But anyways, the point I was trying to make was uh, you're never alone. A lot of people ask me like, do I get lonely? No. No. A lot of people ask me, do I want to hang out? Do I want to I'm not bored. <laughs> I'm not bored. I think some people think when you're single, you're bored all the time. And it's like, I'm not. I'm on the road to be a millionaire. I have so much shit that I'm, I'm supposed to be doing. And if you're not trying to contribute to that, you're probably a distraction. So that's another thing too, where people think that when they're not in a relationship that they're lonely or they're like, it's, that's a sad mindset, honestly. I like being by myself. Like I, I feel like I get a lot done and I feel like I, I have so many different random ideas that just come and I'm able to just act on them without... I mean, I've been in a relationship for eight years. Eight years. So it's always been me doing stuff for other people and not focusing on on my dreams or where I want to be in life. To a point where I came, I became content, and I told myself never again. And I want anybody who's experiencing a change like this. Just know you're never alone. You're never alone. Use this time to work on yourself, heal yourself. Like, I want to say, I want to say before, um, I didn't have this mindset all the time, but before I used to, I'm not going to lie, I used to, call it abandonment issues I used to have abandonment issues to where I would stick and cling to a relationship that I know is dead because I didn't want to be alone because the thoughts the thoughts that were coming through wasn't pleasant thoughts they were like uh, 
repress memories and being alone, just dumb shit, like dumb shit that I probably buried and it just came back. Once I started healing and been on this journey, I love my thoughts. Most of them are, most of my thoughts are ideas, honestly, million dollar ideas. And I, and that's what I'm saying, like, you're never alone. If you are alone right now, you're not alone. Just use the time to heal yourself and get yourself together and, and be in a position that you want to be in because you are what you attract. And if you are have abandonment issues and all this other stuff going on, you're going to attract somebody with the same thing. And you don't want to go through life with that. I know damn well I don't. So I'm not in a rush to get in a relationship with nobody. I want somebody, somebody who the next person who I attract is going to be my last I, and I'm already I already set the intent. That's gonna be my the last person that I'm with. Like that's gonna be my forever. That's gonna be my that's gonna be my guy. Like, that's gonna be my homie. Like you feel me? Like to tap tap in locker. You have to mommy do these. I'm gonna get off in a bit. Um, yeah. So setting your intent. Changing your lifestyle and anything that you know don't serve your greater good, you have to release it. Um, mental awareness is. equal to spiritual awareness because once your mental is okay then your um, <laughs> I don't know why everybody likes to contact me when I'm live I need to put this shit in D&D um yeah set any intent and um, just remaining positive and raising your vibrations. Like, just stay positive and just spread the positivity, positivity and just let everybody know that they're beautiful, they're amazing, just like you guys are. Raising the vibration, man. There's so many people that are down and just don't feel them best self, don't feel their best, and just feel like they have to live to these. Like, it's just... It's just sad. Like, I just feel like we as the people just need to help each other and raise each other up and just build each other up because even with our parents, man, you know, like, most of them are had a shitty childhood, too. So we can't go through life blaming others, especially our parents. Like, it was your story. Rewrite it. Keep your vibration high. Stay positive. Show love to people. Even if you don't know them, you just never know. Like, a smile is very infectious. It's very fucking infectious. <laughs> so it's like, even when people smile at me, I just, I can feel the the happiness and the vibration coming out of them. Like, I don't know what the fuck they're happy about, but they, but they happy about some shit. They just made me happy. Shit like that. So let's go in 2024 with a, with a high-ass vibration. Like, raise it. Like, let's just be happy. Like, what are we sad for? The bill's gonna be here next month, the month after. They're gonna be here 12 months out the year. Sad about bills? Nah. <laughs> Never. Sad about a breakup? God's rejection is your protection. Let him move the motherfuckers out your life that don't belong. Let him move them. Yes. Thank you. You should be saying thank you. I mean, it's easier said than done, of course course you know because you get used to people you get used to people and you get used to the bullshit but like I said if you go on a journey and you hear yourself and you just tell yourself you know you love yourself a lot of shit you wouldn't put up with a lot of shit you wouldn't even deal with so it's like when stuff happens it's like thank you <laughs> thank you because I feel like what's for you would never miss you and that's very spiritual you should never chase you should always attract you never have to chase putting it work hell yeah 
not telling you not to work. <laughs> I'm not telling you not to grind. I'm telling you not to hustle. That's not what the fuck I'm telling you. What I'm telling you is, if you got to chase it, it's not for you. It's trying to go to the person that it's meant for. What's for you would never miss you. Always remember that. It would never miss you. And I'm going to leave it right there. I'm going to go live again because I love going live. Like, I love going live. I love talking. Running my mouth. <laughs> um, yeah, so I appreciate everybody who tuned in. Appreciate the people that's going to hop in on a replay. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Y'all are amazing. Y'all are beautiful. Yes, hey, listen, I never shout myself out, bro. Like, people be like, blah, 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 and I don't do that because I feel like I'm spamming, but fuck it. I'm about to spam y'all ass. I mean, check your girl's song, guys, called Frequency. I'm on YouTube, I'm on SoundCloud. I've been posting on my Instagram, my Facebook, and I'm also, I gotta get that on, I gotta get that thing on TikTok. I feel like once I get it on TikTok, that thing, let's take off. But, anyways, this is my song frequency. It's basically about having a high vibration frequency. Want to get on that frequency? That by that by that energy. Can't keep up that energy. A a a a. So yeah. Mm-hmm. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. I have courses on there. I have uh, you know, I have I post these on there as well for my people that can't catch it on the other one. I post uh, my music is on there as well. I post my my podcast is also connected to my YouTube account. So make sure y'all subscribe to my the YouTube channel because I'm I plan on swooping this shit up, swooping it up. Um also Spotify. My podcast is on Spotify, but I'm also on Apple Music, iHeartRadio, like we we booming everywhere. So make sure y'all subscribe to my podcast so that way y'all are notified when I do drop another episode. As well as my YouTube when I do drop a video. Like, I, it's, just, it's just so much. Like, I just, it's so much that I'm going to do to get y'all out there. And just make sure y'all um, following my pages because I always, see this live, I just went live. You know, I just went live because I just had stuff just sitting there, built up. And I haven't been live for a while. And I know, I, if you're spiritual, it's called hermit mode. It's like when you, you just, fall off the map for like two seconds get yourself together get your mind right get your life organized and that's basically what I I do that from time to time I'm I'm only human so make sure y'all subscribing to my channels my my social media so y'all can stay up with your girl because I'm telling y'all your girl can be booking motherfucking busy (laughs) 2024 y'all better catch me now oh oh, almost forgot hit me up I have spiritual soul for the little, 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 low, little, low, you know what I'm saying? New Year's gonna come up, so make sure you have those New Year's cleanses, New Year's, and this with my soap, you can actually take a New Year's back. You actually start using that this now because it's, it's for negative protect, negative energy protection, um, love, purity, uh, what does it bring? Money, blessings, all that in one soap one soap it has herbs all natural so don't worry about being allergic to nothing at all it's all herbs very natural and i have them on deck i'm making more tonight because (laughs) the pre-orders is lit so i'm just trying to catch y'all before the new year has come so you can set those intentions so you can cleanse yourself of any negative shit that you don't want to go with you to nature so i do have them soaps on soap for sale. <laughs> I drop it like a body, drop it like a body. I say I pop it like a body, pop it like a body. It's not drop it like a body, drop it like a body. Church girls acting loose, bad girls acting naughty. Let it go, girl.